Hello Aquarius and welcome to your monthly reading. This is a very general and quick reading for the month of December, last month of the year. Yes. All right, so let's, this is how the gemstones have cast for you. So let's take a look at here. Aquarius, you have to talk nice to yourself, okay? There's a lot of learned lessons, you know, we've all went through, I guess, I mean, it's showing up everywhere. A lot of lessons this year, a lot of heartache, yeah, but connecting to your higher self is going to be very important and trust it because I do see you have a spiritual tower. So this is trusting your higher self and spirit, your intuition um, and the way, the lessons you've learned and all the communication that's going on because there is a cycle that needs to be closed up. I do see that it's a little bit of a struggle for you. Um, this is internal. For some of you, it's internal struggles. It's internal conflicts. You do have some challenges. But, and this is with either a group of people or something that's an ongoing cycle. There is a sense of you're a little bit um, more focused on the losses, the negativity, uh, feeling sad, maybe regrets. I don't know. For some of you, this can indicate that there's been separation or it's just, I feel it's temporary. Nothing is written in stone. Um, you know, it's like something with communication or, you know, um, taking the high road will help. There should be some good news that may be coming through too. So I do see that energy. Um, we're seeing a lot of compassion. We are seeing a lot of needing self-love too. A lot of strength. Uh, planting the roots now is going to be very important. Your desires, your heart, everything must be done with the heart and also with feeling. Um, you need to take time to nurture yourself physically and spiritually. Okay? I think that's the best way to put it. And trust in your higher self and connect with it. It's like soaring like the eagle. So um, I really do feel a lot of that energy is a focus this month as well. Uh, we are seeing love here and some decisions that need to be made and also with compassion and a balance. A lot of compassionate energy with you and others as well. Um, if, if you've been going through a hard time or you think that you made mistakes, clearing your karma is going to be very important and that means uh, charity work doing things that you don't expect anything in return. So I'm seeing that. And also, it will be reciprocated. Um, we see a personal tower here in the middle as well. So that is showing up. Love, making a choice and decision, health and well-being, taking care of yourself, like I said. Nurturing yourself physically and spiritually is going to be important. I do see, again, love. There's been some frustration, lack of communication or ideas and thoughts, but nothing has been said or done. And I do see um, a whole new cycle. So it's really looking good here. Um, you know, it's not the easiest year. It's not the easiest way to end this year. But we are looking at that energy here. Um, when I'm looking at... Definitely, we are looking at... Um, taking care of yourself. Um, people that have always been there for you, um, letting bygones be bygones is going to be very important as well. Um, I do see trying to stay positive and taking care of yourself. Again, it keeps coming up. I keep hearing it and seeing it. Um, when it comes to work and, uh, I guess, career, I do see some of you may be dealing with like an, a fire sign or an Aries energy or someone who exhibits those energies. Um, it can be you, that energy too, taking the initiative. It's like a yes, go ahead with it. For some of you, you may be thinking of making some kind of adjustments with work, career. Maybe you're thinking of opening your own business or um, trying to impress the higher up somehow because I do see something there creative. Um, this is like, you could really manage a lot when it comes to work and career too. So I do like that. They could be a helpful, helpful, helpful person too. You have a yes answer to anything I don't answer here too. So it's basically moving forward in that when it comes to like finances and we don't really have any, um, financial stone here, but what I see, it's got to do with also, um, talk, loving, caring energy, 
um, sometimes um, just being there, listening to someone is going to help some way. You don't have to always give someone money is another thing I'm seeing too. Uh, talks are going to be very important when it comes to even money. I feel that you have to be a little bit warned um, about who is in your inner circle because it always uh, it's showing that you know maybe someone's trying to take advantage of your good heart, um, sweet talk you out of your money. So be careful of that. But I do see there should be a good deal or a business deal coming through as well. So that energy does show up. Um, Love, again, there is some stresses. You got a lot of love stones and compassionate stones here, but there is some stress with love. Um, there's something that's been, for some of you, someone out there, it's been ongoing. And it could be a family member. It can be a, a relationship. I don't know, but it's there's been a lot of stress, worry, or there is, you know, either regrets. I don't know how um, how else to explain it because it is a very general reading. You're just allowing too many negative um, thoughts about it. You really need to um, take the high road somehow. Um, there's a focus on stubbornness as well. Try to like um, be more open minded is what I want to I want to say here. Um, there's an, like an another Aquarius, I think, um, energy is showing up as well. So um, this is you at times where you just need to. I want to say, not be so negative about love or pessimistic, I want to say. There is something here where you can extend, you know, um, your higher self. But nurturing yourself is going to be very important. That way you can nurture others as well. Okay, watch the health and well-being. It does show up here. Get the rest that you need. Okay, so taking care of yourself is really accented here, I have to say. Okay, there's a lot of like soul searching going on too. Okay, it's like you're on the right path um, with thoughts and some communications here is possible and extent. It's like very compassionate energy, but um, you need to trust your wisdom, your intuition. Okay, that's going to um, help you. You may be more to yourself towards the end of the year is what I'm feeling as well. Um Counting your blessings is going to be very important. And it's almost like you've got these options and you're not sure what you want to do. Someone's thinking about you or you are thinking of someone. It's almost like there. It's like what to do with someone um, that is on your mind um, and someone is thinking about you at the same time. Um, and it's like it's better to listen to your own advice than anyone else's because I do see there's going to be a new emotional path when it comes to love and relationships in general here too. Um, so I'm seeing that too, but counting your blessings is going to be very, very important. Um, I do see that there can be some kind of invitation or some kind of um, happy um, gathering or some, you know what I mean? It's like either, I don't know, if you don't get together with people, um, it's maybe Zoom. I don't know, but there's a happy, happy ending to something I have to say here. And a whole new cycle is opening up for you. So I want to say again and emphasize a lot for December is compassion is very important. Strength is very important. Self-love is very important. Planting the roots now is important. And most of all is really to take time to, to nurture yourself, take care of yourself physically and spiritually. And you definitely need to trust in your higher self because you're evolving more. It's a sense of breaking free and spiritually being free as well. Okay. All right, um, Aquarius, that was your reading for the month of December. And as we close up this year, um, I wish everyone much peace and love. And I'll catch you back next year for your next reading. Bye for now.